Hi Aquarius, a happy birthday. I hope you're all doing well. This is your birthday bonus reading. I've decided to start doing these. So we're on to you now. And this is a big one, isn't it? Isn't this a big one? I mean, we got Mo hanging out with you. We got Venus hanging out with you. <laughs> a lot going on here, Aquarius. So let's see what is going on here for Aquarius for their solar return year. So this is for the year ahead. We're gonna look at what you're here to do this year, or I guess, well, <laughs> yeah, what you're gonna do this year, <laughs> your greatest gift. How can you find joy? Your intention for this year. I have a little birthday spread over here if you're wondering what I'm looking at. Uh, factors supporting you, factors to watch out for is kind of a warning and the main lesson for the year. Don't forget, life is about lessons. Some easy, some hard but always useful in the end. Okay, Aquarius, Aquarius. I'm seeing someone's mouth like, I don't know, something with their jaw here. Something about the jaw. If someone was to ask you what your greatest strength is, what would you say? I feel like that's something that you could think about. Let's uh, that said stillness there. Maybe it is your stillness. You know, Aquarius, you do embody this kind of calm about you. Like a centeredness, stillness within. Maybe that's because Uranus moves so slowly, <laughs> which is one of your ruling planets. Saturn does too. Okay, let's see. Not babbling. Jeez. Okay. Should I put them face down? Yeah. Okay. We're going to put them face down. So we'll see what's in store this year for you together. We need seven cards here. I'm reading the back of this card as I look. I'm, I never really noticed it, I guess, but I am now. So I think this is a message for you here. It says, I'm, I open myself to guidance from the universe. Some of you might want to go to some kind of high point, whether that's like a rooftop, a high balcony, a mountain, um, I don't know, some kind of high point. Maybe it's a metaphor, I'm not sure, but it's like, yeah, I don't know, you need to be up in the air, you are an air sign. It's like, yeah, there's something here about elevating yourself on a high point. Interesting. Okay, and then we're also gonna get tarot. I'll do three shuffles. And then we'll see what comes out for Aquarius spirit guides. What's going on this year for Aquarius? You rule Aquarius energy rules my fourth and fifth house. So that's, um, for me, that's my childhood, my home, and also what I love. <laughs> So I do love your energy, Aquarius. Um, even though I don't have any Aquarius placements myself, I feel this um, familiarity with you. And this is, I mean, this isn't about me and you, right? But <laughs> this is a message for you. I feel like there's somebody here who has a sense of uh, familiarity with you. It's like they just feel they know you at some soul level. Okay, and I think that's important to pay attention to when you meet those kinds of people. Even if they're uh, people that you don't have a personal relationship, like you, they're mentors of some sort, or just people that you feel you connect with. I'm hearing media, maybe in the media. It's important to pay attention to who, what, who those people are. What do they represent for you? What part of yourself is being mirrored back to you as you find that connection with others? That's really what it's all about, right? Temperance. Yeah, it's about, you know, when we connect to somebody or we admire them or we like them, you know, we're just attracted to them. There's a magnetism there. It's because there's something that they hold within them that you recognize as something you hold within yourself. 
And so when you admire someone, know that you're admiring yourself as well. It's really beautiful. I feel like you're making some deep connections this year, okay, with others. Maybe a Sagittarius, maybe even traveling here. Maybe that's the high thing. Maybe it's an airplane. I don't know, okay. What you're, what you're here to do this year, what you're going to do this year. Love. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Allow it to pour in and out of you. Aquarius with four of wands. Shut the front door. Well, don't shut it. Actually, maybe you should open it <laughs> because love is coming in for you in a big, big way. I'm seeing a connection here. I'm seeing the elevation of a connection, taking it to the next level. And if you're not interested in being in a romantic relationship, then I feel like you are just going to be meeting some fantastic people this year who you end up loving, maybe platonically, but you love them nonetheless. This is amazing. If you're moving, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. <laughs> wow. So what you're here to do this year is to celebrate yourself. You know, we're moving into your energy like this is so we're all Aquarius is all around us <laughs> at this time. I'm hearing, you know, when you go to the movie theater and uh, they like in the I don't know, in the preview or whatever, they do the sound thing and they're like, all around us you could hear it all around us and they like all the different speakers are what am i saying here <laughs> well it's interesting because when they do that um they're showing you the surround sound right and how each speaker is on and activated so they do one sound over there and another sound over there but then when you watch the movie it's like magic you know all those sounds are happening at the same time they're not isolated i feel like this is a connection here with other souls here it's like you were speaking um i'm hearing into the void hopefully not <laughs> but maybe you felt like you were speaking into the void or you were putting something out there your frequency your energy this could even be financially putting something out there uh and you were all alone isolated in that endeavor and now it's like you're all going to be resonating together oh this is so cool <laughs> okay <laughs> your greatest gift lesson wisdom through mistakes yeah and that's what i started with right and i'm channeling your energy here and so when i started with this whole spiel on like uh, life is all about lessons that's you saying that right this is your gift you already know that uh, and I'm hearing nothing is broken forever as I see this vase being glued back together. Seven of Pentacles. Perhaps you're reflecting on the last seven years of your life or the last seven months of your life and you're seeing how all the puzzle pieces really do fit together. They're bringing you to this moment, I feel. This year is a, it looks like really good for you. I mean, we're starting off with love and the four of wands. So Aquarius, you can bring this knowledge here to other people as well. You can show them how mistakes are actually tools, lessons, or things that break people, so-called, you know, break their heart, break their bank. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. You can guide them, show them, teach them. Get them to stop and reflect about the larger picture. You're about that too. Okay? You know, you rule the, like the whole circulatory system here. The, you pump blood through the whole universe, the whole being. And so it's important that you use that gift that you have to get people to see the larger picture of something uh, this year. You're going to be in such a good energy, so share that with others. How can you find joy? The star, blessings, inspiration, time to shine, and the five of wands. 
Okay, Aquarius, you are stepping on some kind of stage here with something. I don't know. You're getting noticed. You're getting recognized. I feel like there might be some kind of competitive energy around you, but it doesn't need to feel like that. It doesn't need to feel like that. That's just a choice I'm hearing we make in our heads. <laughs> this idea of competition. Uh, in your case, I feel like maybe that's that sound thing, right? Where it's like all of these speakers saying different things, trying to get noticed. But you could all work together. And maybe this is just energetically. You know, like take Tarot Land, for example. There really shouldn't be any competition between readers. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's, you know, in terms of like the fundamental reason why we're here, I guess it depends on your intentions, but ultimately it's not a competition. We're each doing our own little part in a different way. Everybody's unique, offering something different in a different way. One, one, one right there. And so it, it should feel like on a soul level that you're working with others for the greater good, for the ascension of the collective, right? I think most most readers feel like that. So we're, regardless of what it is that you do, maybe some of you are readers or maybe you're artists or whatever you do, you can work with the people in your field, in your area to, together, or you could view them that way. You don't have to view anyone as competition. I mean, it's, a, it's just unnecessary, right? Yeah, so I feel like you're shining. It's beautiful. And others are shining along with you. And that's great too, because then you're not alone. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> this is like super positive reading. All the birthday readings really are. I mean, it's nice. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, where are we? Your intention for this year. Energy, intensity, passion, and power. Look at the lightning. With the Page of Swords, ooh, you're learning something new here. I feel like some of you are putting out knowledge, though. It's like you're creating something. You got something to say or something to write or something to sing, however, whatever, however you communicate. There is something here um, that you're putting a lot of passion into. And what I love about this Aquarius, what I really, really love is that for you this year, your intention is not to make it about you. See how she's holding out the sword and she's kind of looking away. It's not about you. It's about the message. It's about the truth. It's about the music. It's about whatever you're doing. It's about that thing. You're not trying to make something about you. And I was thinking uh, about something like this earlier. You know, we, we listen to so many things. We read so many books. We gain so much information all over the place. And then maybe we teach that information or we share it with someone else. And there's, you know, yes, it's fantastic and important to pay respects and reference people, you know, when that's appropriate. But the point of bringing knowledge into the world is to share it. So there's something here about like, don't feel like just because you learn something from someone else, like you can't say it yourself. That's kind of the point, right? We want to keep like, generating the knowledge and spreading it. We don't always need to bring it back and attribute it to somebody and say that this isn't ours unless it's appropriate, okay? Like you're writing an essay or something and that's required, you know? But there's something here about sharing knowledge, spreading knowledge, making it about the knowledge and not about who said it, you know? Yeah. Like, and I was, I just wanna share this with you because we're just kind of having this chill reading, I feel. <laughs> but I was listening to some lecture about something and like uh, philosophy kind of stuff. And the woman that was presenting was saying, you know, I came out with this concept and this is what she named it uh, or she named it. And she said, um, and this is going to be mine. Like everybody's going to know that I put this out. And she was kind of joking about it, but not really. 
And it's like, <laughs> is that why you're presenting the concept because you want to be known? Or you're presenting the concept because the concept is useful and necessary and needed? It's like, what you know, and in the Aquarian age, right? In the Aquarius energy, you in your higher, higher polarity are not about who said it or that I produced this. It's about what can this do? You know, how can this help others? You know, and you will be recognized with the star card, but you're going to shine and you're going to be recognized because you're not trying to make it about you. You know, your intentions are for the greater good. Okay, factors that are supporting you. Stillness, <laughs> lack of movement. And eight of swords. Ooh. So when you get all up in your head about something, okay, or you're working out a lot, and you know, this is Gemini energy, right? So when you're dealing with a lot of input of information, there's a lot of different things that you have to hold at the same time, a lot of different ideas, whether they're negative or positive, right? Try to sit with that energy. My mom likes to say, hold the tension, you know, hold the tension of that energy. Sometimes it's, you know, when we're in a very difficult position with something, it can be easier to just drop it and leave it behind or uh, go into some kind of shadow complex with it. It's a lot harder to kind of sit with the tension of the situation and really wrestle with it and work it out and see what it means for you. You know, yeah, don't, it's like a fight or flight, right? Some people, uh, or freeze, right? Some people just totally run away from things. Other people start to battle with it. And this is you just kind of observing a situation that bothers you. That's what's going to support you this year, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm hearing... Uh, levels of levels of observation and I'm seeing like an observatory here so yeah again with the the sky the height the stars <laughs> Le levels of observation okay yeah so if you get like a troubling email or you're working on something or you're with your partner and there's like all this noise in the in a conflict it's like take a step back here be still with all the energy that's coming towards you and kind of hold it, you know, hold a little bit of space for it for a second before you engage. Okay, factors to watch out for, a warning. Mystery, secrets and hidden meanings. Oh boy, 1808 right there. Nine of swords. Okay, now we're getting, we got the good stuff. <laughs> now we're going to get the challenges, the lessons here. So you might feel like something's being kept from you this year. But this is what to watch out for. Nine of Swords, your own anxiety, your ability to spiral into that, you know, we all have the ability to spiral into negativity or to, or to let our thoughts run away with us. Try not to read into situations, okay? To overanalyze something. That's is why the stillness is important with the Eight of Swords. If something doesn't uh, feel clear to you, I'm here to take a step back. This is also about going to a height here, some some place where it's high. Um, even if you do that literally, like you go to a rooftop, subconsciously it will help you feel like you have a bigger perspective on an issue. Wow, that's cool. That's like real solid advice there <laughs> from Spirit. I like that. See this cat's perched here up on the tree. What you can't see, okay, you're not meant to see. What else do you want to say about this? I feel like I need a little bit more. 
justice in reverse. Temperance. Yeah, it's something like you might feel like you need to get into something to energetically balance something out or for karma to be served in some way. You might feel like there's a sense of injustice here that something's being kept from you. But Spirit's saying with temperance, like, be still. Temper your reaction or your the feeling like you need to dig into something. Because it will balance out in time. What will be what what you need to see will be revealed to you. So don't worry too much. Maybe you want to save this reading here and come back to it when you feel like that this year. Okay, so the main lesson you will explore this year: let go, relax, and release. Death. Wow. Let go with death? Aquarius. <laughs> That's pretty strong there reinforced by spirit here you are letting go of something massive something is coming to an end maybe whatever is coming to an end is something where you didn't receive all the answers there maybe felt like there was a lack of closure for some of you or that there was still something more you could have learned or discovered you know it was a path not taken or it was a path blocked for you and it's like there's still some mystery and hidden energies around that situation. So you could feel the need to keep digging into that. But spirit is saying, let it go. Release, relax. It's over. Okay. That situation does not have to bother you anymore. You're going to be transforming here this year. This is a big year for you. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed that. Happy birthday. And I will do another general reading for you with an extended and all that stuff later on. But I wanted to do this one right away as soon as the sun moved into Aquarius. So I love you so much. And thank you for your beautiful energy in this reading. And I'll see you next time.